Okay, using the Procool cold water boots, here are a few tips. When you initially open them and take them out of the pack, very important to soak them between two to four hours. Majority of the time, two hours is adequate, but in case the water is very warm, four hours might be needed. So after the initial soak, all the crystals inside the cold water boots swell up. Now you might notice when you first do the initial soaking that there are some, uh, there's a bit of residue as the crystals have expanded so massively inside each of the pockets. Don't be worried if you see any on the outside. The crystals are totally hypoallergenic and non-toxic. They're tested on human skin, so there's no possibility of reaction. So just wipe them away uh, when they appear on the outside, and then you're ready to apply your boot. To decrease the temperature of your tap water, you can always add some ice. The boot itself could not be easier to put on, but it will need some readjustment of the straps once you've initially put them on. It's always best to go back uh, once you've done the bottom strap, which obviously goes nice and firmly around the fetlock joint. Always go back up and just have a little bit of a readjustment to make sure they're nice and snug. There's no set time for the use of cold water boots, unlike ice boots because you can keep them wet and um, active for as long as you like. So this boot dries, starts to dry out. I can put a hose on it, tip some water from a bucket, and that effectively lengthens the time that they can be on the horse for.